Hello friends, welcome back. And yes, I did get a haircut, but today we are here to talk about Luminar version 1.7.0, which is just out. I just got it, been playing around with it, and wanted to make a first look video because there are two new things in it that are super cool and super helpful that I think you're really gonna appreciate. In addition to that, it's faster, it's more stable, they squash some bugs, that kind of thing. But the two things that I think you're really gonna care about, number one is you can now get a preview of presets based on just hovering over the preset name. So a preview on hover in the preset tab is just fantastic and super quick because you no longer have to click the preset, let it apply and look at it and then decide, well, I don't want that one, I wanna try another one. So now you just scroll through, hover over it, it applies what it looks like, gives you the preview and boom, you can make a quick decision like that, which is super awesome. The second thing, which is incredibly cool, especially if you're a Lightroom user, and guess what? There's a lot of you out there, and that is that you can now use HDR Merge, Focus Stacking, or Upscale AI from Lightroom in Luminar Neo. So you can send those files over from Lightroom and take advantage of those extension capabilities in Luminar Neo. I'm gonna show you how to do that because there is a specific way to get that done. Uh, the other thing I wanted to point out is there is a, a special that's still going on right now for Luminar Neo. If you haven't taken advantage of it, check that link down below. It is an affiliate link and they pay me a referral fee for sending you their way if you purchase something. And if you do, by the way, there's no extra cost to you. And in fact, I've got two different coupon codes, Gymnex10 or Gymnex Neo. See which one works uh, and saves you the most money. But anyway, the, that uh, link is down below. Let me show you all the cool new stuff that we're talking about today. Here we go. I've got a photo and I'm in the presets tab. And hey, guess what? I'm in my Luminar Neo preset mega pack, which is 50 presets for $35. But because of this new announcement, I'm taking $5 off, so it's marked down to $30. I'll put a link to that down below. That's for five days, my friend. So get it between now and Tuesday, uh, and it's going back to the regular price, which is $35. So here we go, preview on preset. Hey, I hovered over one of the preset names, and guess what? That preset is being shown or previewed on the image, as you can see. So this is a, and that's a new sky. I mean, that just goes pretty quick. Uh, I got lots of different things in here. So you can just kind of scroll through and decide what looks good. And maybe, you know, you come in and say, ooh, that golden light looks pretty good, Jim. I mean, it was a sunset. This preset is designed to kind of accentuate that. So is this one. So is that one. So is this one. There's a lot of sunset stuff because, hey, who doesn't like a sunset? I mean, if you don't like sunsets, like, you know, that's just, that's odd. That would be odd to me. Anyway, um, there's lots of different things that uh, that come into play here in terms of how quickly you can now go through because I've already looked at, what, 10 or 15 presets while I've been talking, and in the past, it would have been click, okay, click, okay, or whatever. I would have gone through, uh, through two or three in that amount of time. So super fabulous, super quick, super awesome. Let's say I like this sunset stuff. Then you click it, and it applies the preset, and then you can go into edit, and further refine that. Remember that you click on the edits tab, you can see the different tools that are included in the preset and of course what settings are involved with each tool. But then you can go on this tools section here and go in and further refine that if you want to. So that's how that works, incredibly quick and powerful and I love it. The cool thing is that you can use this in combination with uh, coming from Lightroom. So let me pop over to Lightroom, which I have running right here and I've got this bracket set and there's three different images. These are raw files and there's n a number of different ways to get photos out of Lightroom and into a plugin like Luminar Neo or a different plugin if you happen to use one. One of them is you right click and you can just say edit in and you can see I got a billion different software products, but I could choose Luminar Neo. That's not the way to do it for uh, taking advantage of these extensions. Uh, that's the same as going up here and clicking photo edit in, right? Same thing there. The other options for getting photos from uh, Lightroom over to a plugin is you can go down to plugin extras and transfer to, but again, that doesn't transfer it, transfer it over uh, properly because if you remember these extensions, which by the way, if you don't have these extensions, you can get them as part of this special offer that uh, Luminar is running until the uh, later part of this month. I think it goes to the end of the month. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, these different extensions, they run from the catalog page. So if you remember in Luminar Neo, it's catalog and then presets 
and then uh, the edits tab, right? So what you want to do is actually go up here where it says export with preset. And down here, Luminar Neo, you can see focus stacking in Luminar Neo, HDR merge in Luminar Neo, or upscale photo in Luminar Neo. So in this case, I highlighted a series of three images, a bracket set. I'm gonna go ahead and click HDR Merge in Luminar Neo, and what it's gonna do is pop those over to Luminar, and here you go, I'm now in Luminar, and you can see I've got these three images, check mark on all of them, I can uncheck it if I want to, exclude one of those from the merged HDR, but I don't, I'm gonna leave all three. I've also got my options here for ghost reduction and chromatic aberration, if I could click it properly, and auto alignment, I'll just do all that, and then I hit merge, it's gonna go ahead and merge these. By the way, it'll work the same way for focus stacking, or if you send upscale AI over, it's obviously a single exposure in that case. But the point is, this stuff works from Lightroom and it's super fantastic, and I love the ability to kind of use these tools in combination, and I'm sure that you do too, because a lot of people manage their library in Lightroom and wanna be able to go and take advantage of the extensions in Luminar Neo, but continue to manage their library in Lightroom. That's how you do it today. So this is a big improvement, and I've now got a merged HDR photo in Luminar Neo that I merged, even though I started with the bracket set in Lightroom. So it sent it over, it merged it, it did all its things, and now I can go straight to the Edit tab and refine this if I want, or I can go into my preset categories. You land on the preset tab with the merged photo, even though um, I didn't go through the catalog uh, section of Luminar. I'm sure that makes sense to you if you know what I'm talking about. You can click on purchased and then click on my Luminar Neo preset uh, mega pack if you happen to have it. If not, hey, $5 off, I talked about that already. But you can use these things in combination. So you'll see it goes through and loads and kind of builds out what these things look like, but I can come in and just on hover, I'm getting a preview of this preset. And so uh, each preset, I should say, on this photo. And maybe this smooth sailing looks really good to me, which it does. Maybe I wanna do something like this ice caving, or let's see, I've got a couple of these uh, fun ones down here, like influence, I mean, that's just it's a lot of color. And I like my color, but I do recommend that you're careful with it. So you might want to refine some of these presets. But bottom line is you can come in here and pick a preset. And maybe it's this lovely landscape. Now, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go get glorious light. I think that looks really nice. Colorful and vibrant, but not overdone, in my opinion, at least. And then I can go into edit and I can do whatever else I want to do to further refine that image. And maybe it's something simple in develop, like maybe I want to put on the highlights slightly and slightly bring up the shadows and maybe a slight pop in contrast. I don't really have a plan for the photo. The point is you can do all that and refine it. And then when you click apply, it's gonna calculate that, process it, and drop it back in Lightroom next to your originals. Okay, and here you go, back in Lightroom, you can see there's my bracket set and here's my merged HDR photo. And of course, if I wanna use the develop module here to go in and do things, maybe it's a little too saturated. Maybe I can come in here and take a little bit of that down just cause you know, hey, I'm trying to be a little bit realistic here, but that's the new stuff that's in Luminar Neo version 1.7.0, brand new. Make sure you do an update, which by the way, if you're in Luminar, you just go to the upper menu and click check for updates. It is free if you already own it. If you don't own it, get it down below at their special offer price and get the extensions as well. So you can take advantage of focus stacking and upscale and HDR merge in Neo and still manage your catalog here in Lightroom. So many people have been asking for this. It's, uh, it's now the time that we have it. I'm excited about it. I think it's super cool. And the preview of the presets on Hover, I just love. That's just the greatest thing to be having. I love that the Luminar Neo team, just uh, the Skylum team, I should say, just keeps investing and building out more and more capabilities in Luminar Neo. It's really matured quite a bit in the last year. I'm super excited to see these features, and I know there's more coming. So we'll be talking soon, my friends. I hope this gives you a good idea of how this thing works. And thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with more videos. You guys take care, and until then, adios.